good evening. Just got back from work and I went to my local Meyer and I found this. How close is that? Kassiran! Mega Constructs have made the baby dragons. This is the only one that I saw. I was looking for Halo Mega Bucks, which I did find some. I found Reaper Morami, Master Chief with the Overshield, and a ODST, the purple one. Lang or something like that. So I bought them, and I also found this guy. He was the only one. So I hope I can find the other two. And also, I'll have the three eggs, too. So I'm going to open it. This looks so sweet. I haven't watched every single episode of every single series. I've seen some of them. I looked on YouTube mainly just to look at the dragons and such. A lot of people told me that it is a good series and all that fun stuff. So this is the Syrian, the yellow one. And I know the other one, there's a green one. And then like Rago or something. I don't know. I don't know. And then there's... The main one, which is Drogon, he is the one that's black and red. So, anyway, this here in. Let's see. You do have to put it together. I just grabbed when I just saw it. I just grabbed it. I'm like, I'm gonna guard this egg. <laughs> it's, it's plastic, but you know, this is so cool. I'm gonna try to do this a little bit quick, just because I don't know how much room I got left on my iPod for this video. Oh, the wings, they're made out of like the flexi material. So rubber, like silicone or whatever. Comes with instructions. So hopefully it's not too complicated. Oh yeah, it doesn't look like it'll be too complicated at all. Nothing too bad, it looks like. So. <laughs> looks like it'll be actually pretty easy. Body parts! <laughs> I hope they don't make it where you have to break these, or these could be part of the wings. There's going to be all kinds of little bitty parts. Sorry if you don't see me. Look at the detail on that head, man. And the teeth inside it. He's got a little flame thing you can have in his mouth, too. And it feel, the way it feels, it's like rubber. But, you know, it's so cute. I like how the, um, the detail on the head, the eyes, it does not have the dead eye effect. Yeah, for computer people, you know what that means when it comes to CGI characters. The detail in the mouth. I like it how you can't. It hides the teeth when the mouth closes. So his name is Vasirin. I might even call him Sunny for short. <laughs> the other parts. But it still looks like it should be pretty easy to assemble. So. Let's get this party started, started, right? <sighs> yeah! <laughs> okay. You're just hashed, you can't blow fire yet. Okay, I just got the claws. I'm going to try to do some of this just by... Because I've watched the creatures, so I have a feeling I know. How he should go together. Oh, it's in two bags. Mm -hmm. I'll dig my finger in there without, because I don't want to just pull the wings. 
speaking of wings, I am making Maleficent wings for um, Halloween because that's what I want to be for Halloween this year or Comic Con or whatever. I got both sides of the of one of the wings done, and I have to do one more, and then I got to put them together and all that fun stuff. It's really, it's like. It is, it is rubber. There's holes and stuff in here. So I guess the joints and everything, there'll be a way to make them. I like how it's pliable. The detail on the wings is very nice. Very good paint job. He's, the siren is the golden one. Mr. Gold. Gold, goldy. For some reason, I always thought that the lighter one would be like a female or something, even though they're probably all brothers. You know. He, oh, this is a little stand, I'm guessing. Okay. Body. The number one. Look at it here. I hope I have enough. Chest, a nice look at the detail on the body. Look at all that. The big, the thicker scales, you know, on the ch on his chest and belly, and then the this even this part feels kind of rubbery. Like, I mean, it's hard, but it has that slight feel. So it, they definitely try to ha have the feel of a dragon, even though you know, I can imagine a dragon scales being incredibly hard and also incredibly smooth at the same time. bitty claw bits right here. I don't know if there was supposed to be another one or not because there's only three. So hopefully I didn't drop one of those little... Yeah. I only see three of these things. So we'll find out. Or maybe he does only have three because it's for the it could be the neck. We'll find out. Okay. So two of these for each wing. which has the little dew claw on it. I don't know how well you can see this, so. Oh, these extend. Oh. Okay. It's kind of weird they would they would make it bend the opposite way. Oh, well, it's probably because of these. Okay. So the little dew claw, the claw goes through this one, this one goes through here. But then these go through that. Okay. Easy. So that way I could even, you can, okay, so yeah, you could have a little bit of movement there in, in pose and positioning and all that. That's cool. Okay, I'm, some of it's not, it's not rocket scientists, not rocket science. <laughs> this tail, I'm guessing, goes here. I would rather actually it go closer to the body, but that's just me. Because I'm picky like that. Unless it's supposed to be. Okay.
<laughs> now my brain's like, okay, I gotta do this fast now. <laughs> for the other wing part. They're both the same size, so I don't have to worry about being disproportionate. And then I'm going to be thinking, I should have redid this video because of how bad I was at not checking to see how the filming was on it. I don't want that to be stretched too far. But at the same time, I want it to be on there, so. That part I got, that part I got. Hopefully it doesn't matter which joint goes into which one. Okay, I didn't drop it. This feels like rubbery like too. If Daenerys is the mother of dragons, does this mean that Khal Drogo is the stepfather of dragons? <laughs> the father of dragons? Mm -hmm. Hmm. Yes, I'm one of those people that like to put the head on last. I kind of wish his legs were bent. I don't know what these other parts, these other holes on his legs and the neck are for. I don't know. Maybe they're just places where if you have a bunch of these, you can put them wherever you want, maybe? It doesn't really say. One is for the neck. Yeah, because yeah, he's got... Yeah, these extra hole places on his outer thighs. I don't know what that's supposed to be for. Unless it's for... Pose flying purposes? I don't know, because it does not say. It doesn't say at all. But anyway, it actually is three. One goes here, one goes on the neck, and one is here. And these are um, mega blocks or mega constructs. So also uh, you could be thinking, well, these are baby ones though, so they're not like the adult. I might have to do that one just because yeah, or even have that farther back. The head has a lot of flowing movement. It can go up and it can go down.
power one. So it actually is pretty poseable. This can actually go down. And there he is. Put the flame in his mouth. You can do that. And you can have, you can move the legs back. And, um, see how this works. The weight of the back legs is a little much. Unless it's supposed to be back here. But then that puts it too forward. They need to have one that's kind of right in the center of his belly, to be honest with you. Instead of just the chest area or whatever. It's a little, the legs are a little bit of too much weight, unless they're just supposed to be down. <laughs> Not looking that, that well, but anyway, I really like it. Looks very sweet. <laughs> I mean, look at all the detail on that, on the head, and the eyes. So these little uh, spiky things, I guess you can put them in slightly different places. He has little spots on his on there, but there's no, uh, there's nothing else that goes on it. I mean, even looking at the pictures of them fully together, I think those are spaces there. I don't know what they would be for, you know? So anyway, that is Viserion. Little dragon. I'm going to take your flame out of your mouth. Get the flame out of your mouth. Looking golden and cool. The head mechanic that this is really good. Um, there is quite a bit of space between the head and the neck, but that is really, at, despite that, that is a really good motion because then that really shows that he could put his neck down you know there's enough space for that to do so so I like the scales like this part yeah it's kind of it's kind of it has that rubberish feel And he actually turns his head pretty good too. I like that. That's also why it has that, so he can you get some good poses. Like, I mean, look at that far of a turn on the head. Oops. And don't do that. <laughs> There we go. 
And he kind of kind of wants to fall over. Well, yeah, of course, he just hatched. He's going to fall over until he gets his feet. I think I might also call you Sunny. The way the eyes look, the way this whole the whole face is, is just, I love this. Very nice. Very nicely done. Very, very good. Pardon me. Mm -hmm. 